I would have done anything for my pup. You know, I used to take him to the doctor when he used to have, you know, this appointment and that appointment, and it was my greatest joy taking him and taking care of him, and I should have taken care of him for this. I should not have given up and called the ambulance. That's what haunts me. I'm thinking about him alone in that room. And I know he was terrified. <sighs> I mean, he really lived life, even though he was handed a rough, you know, a rough start when his mom died and, you know, with my mother being sick. Everything in his life was business and family. I mean, if, he, if you asked him what is important to you, that's, that's what he would say. People that met him felt like they were his best friend, always. He was the greatest. He was truly the greatest. I mean, the screensaver on my phone's been my screensaver for a year. It was the last picture we took together. It was the week that, oh, it was like the week that I, you got I sick was a day sick. Later, right? I was sick, but I didn't know. Right. At the beginning, people would say, well, how did he get it? For me, that's how he got it. He got it from me. I contracted the virus, and I brought it into their house while trying to protect them. I didn't know and I was doing the shopping and bringing in meals and so forth. It was March 28th when, I, when he went into the hospital. It was the day my fever broke. It was the day that the aides called me and said, you have to come over and care for your mother because we, we're sick and we need to leave. Oh, no. All right, ready? Ooh. This is his personal. Oh my God. Oh, he used to. Hey, did you see this one? And do you know how to smell like it? Like it? <laughs> I still go through a lot of guilt, and obviously, but then I think that he would want me to be living my life. I, I was in a real funk for a real long time. And then one of my daughters said to me, you know, Mommy, we thought that we lost our grandfather. We didn't realize we also lost our mom. And that was changing from, you know, then I figured I have to snap out of it. I have to be the best mom that I can be because I was a really good mom before. And then they lost me somewhere along the way. I haven't been the same person. And I, don't, I won't ever be the same person without my father and the experience that I went through. <laughs> my father would be so tortured if he thought about how tortured I was. And I want him, I want him to be happy and at peace. And he's only gonna be that way if I'm that way here. So I really feel that you do it for your loved ones and live your life the way that they would want you to live it. Bernie, is this a humdinger? It certainly is one humdinger. <laughs>